Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents, and welcome to Masters of the Universe Tuesdays. Today I will be presenting you with the Target exclusive Masters of the Universe Revelations Faker, is what it says on here, but if you look at the description or the name of it on the Target website, it says Trade Up Faker. So... So you can call it faker or trade up faker or whatever kind of faker you want to call it, I guess. I uh, thank you for watching this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across, which I hope is all of them. Each view does count and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you very, very much, my friends. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, and don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. And with all that said, let's get into it. And now, as we usually do here on Digital Caveman Presents, let's take a look at the packaging. Unfortunately, mine had a little mishap while being placed in the shipping box, it looks like. But that's okay, because I don't keep these packages anyway. But it is a nice package. Nice big window that shows you Faker, everything except for his feet and toes. You got two hands, fake power sword, shield, his orange Skeletor armor, which is what I always called it. Probably has another name, Battle Harness, maybe. A fully fleshed out He-Man face, a no fleshed robot face, and of course on the figure itself you can see the damaged He-Man face. He-Man. He-Man. 30 points of articulation, a barcode, Netflix original series, Master of the Universe Revelation Faker. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, contents, one figure and accessories, question mark, because I don't know. Uh, made in Vietnam, barcode. On the sign, Faker, evil robot of Skeletor. And some nice artwork of He-Man with robot eyes. And then Faker with a lot of his upper torso flesh removed. On the back of the packaging, again, uh, nice artwork of Faker, and this time he is s -s 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 smoking because, you know, stuff happens. The other figures in the assortment, which is He Man, Moss Man, Skeletor, and Evil In, make up Wave 1, and then you have the Deluxe Skeleton and Super Deluxe Battle Cat. I call him Super Deluxe. I don't know if they call him that. And they are also available. Faker, evil robot of Skeletor. Of all the deadly minions at Skeletor's disposal, Faker's mastery of deception and destruction makes him among the most dangerous. The cybernetic doppelganger of He-Man takes on the appearance of Eternia's most powerful protector, fooling any, excuse me, many heroes including the sorceress of Grey Skull herself. By the time the heroes discover Faker's true nature, it may be too late. All right, my friends, I do believe. That does it for the packaging. And now, my friends, let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. We'll start off with his fake sword of power. Has nice silver paint for the blade. And then all this orange here for the handguard. And then the brown for the hilt. And again, orange for the pommel. So, very nice fake sort of power mine. As you can see, got a little bent in the packaging. However, 
just a slight bit of heat from the hair dryer should be able to help me fix that right up. Here's his shield, which I think is exactly the same as He-Man's. And here is his chest armor, which is just a metallic orange version of Skeletor's. And again, it got a little bent in the packaging and a little heat. Should fix that right up. And you can see the nice bat motif. And then again here where it comes unlatched so that you can put it on the figure. Here's his grip hand. Because he comes with a fist hand already on him. And here comes his slap hand. Or shield holding hand, whatever you want to call it. Because it comes with a grip hand on that one. And then I'm going to grab my tweezers so we can take a look at his non-damaged head. As you can see, he does have red eyes. A nice wash for the hair so that the strands do tend to stand out. He kind of has that frowny robot Terminator face. I'll be back. I have the power of being back. So there's that head and then his completely unfleshed robot head which has nice paint amps. Again the red eyes and the silver, the white for the teeth. Come with me if you want to live. And that does it for the accessories. Let's take a look at the figure himself. And as you can see, the head that he comes with does have that same frowny Terminator face. However, part of the flesh is missing. And looks like he has that same bit of wash in the hair. And as you can see, where the flesh has come off, where it's missing, you can see a little bit of red paint apps here to simulate blood. And that's everywhere that it is missing. So it looks like from the waist down, it's all uh, He-Man reuse. And then from the waist up, it's almost mostly new. The harness, same harness as He-Man. Uh, I believe these hands are probably the same hands that come with He-Man. And again, uh, the, the spare hands also probably the same hands. Uh, nice silver paint apps where all the flesh is missing. And then his arm pauldron, I guess. So, very, very nice deco on this figure. Now let's talk about the articulation. For the head, he can do the full exorcist. And just a slight bit of waggle, not, not much. He can look up this far and down that far. Arms will come out this far. So uh, at the shoulders, probably 90, but then it's not quite 90 from the bicep down. 
And speaking of the biceps, he does have a 180 degree rotation there and 180 degree rotation at the shoulder for his double jointed elbow because of this piece here. He gets about that much. And without it, he should get this much on that arm also. Ab crunch can tilt back that far, which isn't a whole lot. He can tilt forward that far, which again isn't a whole lot. He does have waggle. Look at me, I am doing the Baron Demo. And he does have a little bit of twist in there. He does have a full 360 degree rotation at the waist. He can kick up that far if you hold it. His uh, loincloth there tends to push down. Again in the back, he can kick back that far. It's a cut at the upper thigh. 360 degrees worth of rotation there. Double jointed knee. Gives you that much because of the fur tops on his boots. Then there's a cut at the boot, a boot cut, so to speak, for 360 degrees rotation. For ankle, go down that far. We'll go up that far and forward facing pin for ankle rocker. And that, my friends, does it for a look at the figure and his accessories, except that I want to do this. So, we see these just latch in there, kind of like the original He-Man. And let's see if I can get it out without tearing it up. The one thing I do wish they would have added onto this harness is a spot for the power sword that would have been excellent just a little bit of work and it'll come off there we go the he-man harness off and we'll unstrap this one and we have to pull his head off to put it on so ah there we go And again, a har uh, 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 you know, something for the sword to go into, even on this armor. Would have been kind of cool. So let's put... Ah, uh, the robot head on, maybe. All right, got the robot head on there. Take that off, and 
we'll put the shield hand on. Okay, that doesn't work too well. So you know what? Let's slide that on. Uh, here, let's do this. We'll take the grip hand, put it on there, and then slide this on his arm and pop that wrist into position. And there we go. And then let's put uh, the other grip hand on. Oh, and his wrist bracers or whatever you want to call them do come off. Alright, and there we have Faker with some of his alternate accessories. And that does it for a look at the figure and the accessories. And now, my friends, it's time for comparisons. And let's start things off with Masterverse Wave 1 Moss Man. Wave 1, Evil Lynn. Wave 1, Skeletor. And here he is with Wave 1 He-Man. And as you can see, the harnesses are the same. The heads... As you can see, the Actual He-Man is kind of smiley, and Faker is frowny. And then here we have him with Skelegod. And here he is with the Mattel Creations Scare Glow. And Battle Cat. Man, that battle cat is big. Awesome. And even though this is a 7-inch line, I'm going to show you kind of how he scales up with some 6-inch based figures. 
And here he is with the Star Wars The Black Series Elite Squad Trooper. The G.I. Joe Classified Regal Variant Cobra Commander. And the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends series, Silver Centurion Iron Man. And that, my friends, does it for the comparisons. For final thoughts on the Target exclusive Masterverse, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Revelations trade-up faker figure. Try saying that three times fast. I think this is a wonderful addition to the lineup. You really can't have a He-Man line without a faker in it. Of course, this one is a little different. He's not, you know, the standard blue and orange that we've come to expect out of faker. Uh, this one, to me, actually makes a little more sense. He actually looks like He-Man, except where battle damaged. Uh, again, a great addition to the lineup. If you're able to get your hands on this one and you you like the Masterverse figures, then, you know, add this guy to your collection. He, you don't want to miss him. Uh... The robot head, at least with this the orange armor on, it does tend to look a little smallish. So be aware of that, even though I, I don't know if you can tell it looks kind of small on the camera or not. Doesn't really, but in person it does look a little smallish, but that's okay. Uh, you know, everything's been burned away from it. Uh, hopefully they will do a recolor of Battle Cat and make his Tigotron or whatever the name of it is. I don't know. I know it wasn't one of the original Masters of the Universe uh, animals like Battle Cat and Panthor, Zor and Screech. Um, but uh, I've seen the origins version of it and it looks nice so i would like to see them do do that also with battle cat and give faker his own his own cat ride so to speak but overall a great figure that does it for the review i'm glad that you watched this video or any of my other videos that you may have run across. Each view does count, and I do appreciate appreciate each and every single view that I get. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you so very much for watching. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews, and don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. Well, that's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.